Hi Sabina, lovely to meet you at the range and start working on your game. Uh, as promised, just a quick recap on the key points that we covered during your session. Uh, we talked about really as a beginner what is important in a golf swing and what players must do. The first challenge a golfer must do is control the low point of the arc. We're swinging the golf club in a circle. Wherever that low point is, the lowest point of that circle is where the club is going to hit the ground. Now, if we watch good players as they come into impact, and we use the line analogy, the line is on the ball, the player hits the ball, and then hits the ground after the golf ball. And that's a measurable difference. That's something that every good player demonstrates. And in order to make solid contact, we need to control where the club bottoms out. We want it to bottom out on or just in front of the golf ball every time and we talked about building a machine to hit the ground in front of the ball we'd have the we'd have the axis fixed we wouldn't be moving from side to side and shifting the body weight around much and we talked about the important factors in controlling where this low point occurs if we look at you at the start of the session from not a bad setup position Takeaway needs tidying up as does the top of the backswing. However, as you come into the golf ball, you're in a rush to get the club back to the ball. The weight stays back in an attempt to get under the ball and the low point occurs behind the golf ball. So we're hitting the ground here and we'd like to be hitting the ground on or just in front of the golf ball in an attempt to prevent the club hitting the ground you've learned how to flex the elbows and stand up through impact and if you do that just at the right time you let a nice shot but it's very very difficult to time the weights moving back the elbows are flexing and the head is lifting and that's where you get your inconsistencies when you're on a tee peg you're able to get away with that you've got the balls already elevated and you've got a huge head on the golf club when the ball's on the ground that's when it that's when you find out how good your impact position actually is so if we now take a little look at good players and what they do to achieve that low point control what we notice is and again all good players demonstrate this at impact, the weight is forward and the handle is forward. And coming through impact, the arms are straight. And those were the two keys we gave you. Weight forward, arms straight. Now, instinctively, you've put the weight forward a little bit at setup here now on the bottom right. Now, I haven't got a problem with that. The body weight has to be forward for us to strike the golf ball properly. So that means there's no problem putting the body weight forward at impact. Massively misunderstood part of the golf swing and set up right there. So with the weight a little bit more forward, the backswing's not going to change that much. Stays nice and centered. Now as we come into impact, the weight's more forward and the club is bottoming out nearer to the golf ball so you've controlled the low point better than you're doing on this one so here we've got weight back elbows flexing here we've got weight forward elbows flexing less as can be seen by the daylight that you see appearing just between the forearms here on the way through so arms straighter weight more forward those were the two keys that i want you to go away and practice every time you hit a golf ball put a little line on the mat if necessary hit the ground in front of the line to do that you want to get the weight forward and on the way through you can now learn to straighten the arms so weight forward arm straight are the two keys to take away from this lesson good luck good luck with it and I look forward to working with you again in a couple of weeks time well done